Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export data from SQL to CSV files using BCP. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how you can export data from SQL server to CSV file using BCP utility. BCP stands for bulk copy program. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server 2019 instance installed on my machine and in the databases I got multiple databases here and I got a work database and in this particular database I have table email table so I will be exporting the data from this email table to the CSV file so I can show you data like how data looks like in this particular table so there are around five columns in this particular table and there are 1000 records those will be exported so we will be using the BCP utility and uh, we can automate the process as well automating the export process so let me show you the syntax like what syntax looks like and how it will work so this is the syntax BCP bulk copy program and then in the double quote you need to write your query like select a star from your database dot schema name and then your table name and then after that you need to write query out and then you can specify the path where you want to export your file to so you can give the folder name plus file name okay after that there is a minus c which is like uh, it performs the operation using a character data type so it uses care as the storage types so you just need to give minus c here and then you can just move to the next clause so the next one is minus t which is like field terminator so for the field terminator what I'm going to do I'm just providing comma in the double code so every field will be separated by a comma in this particular case and now we got minus capital T so this is for trusted connection okay so the connection to the SQL server database will be a Windows connection so that's why we are using T if you want to connect using a SQL server authentication method then you need to provide minus u for username and then minus p for password and then we got minus capital s which is for server name so we you need to provide your sql server instance name here so let me modify this particular query according to our scenario so the first thing is that we need to give our database name here so our database name is work and then our table name is email so i can give email here in the query out I will be exporting my file to the D files location so this path is fine D files location but the file name will be something else maybe email email.csv and yeah the I think the field terminator for this particular export I will use as comma and then uh, yeah I will be using the trusted connection and server name let me just pick the server name and then I can just give the server name here at the rate at the rate server name so I can copy the server name from here and I can paste it here okay so this is my server name so this will be our final command for the BCP so if you see at this particular location D files location so there is no file email.csv file as of now okay so to execute this particular query what you can do you can just simply copy this particular query okay and now you can open the command prompt from here and then you can just paste the query here and then just press enter so you can see that 1000 rows successfully bulk copy to the host file total received 1000 okay now if you go back to that folder location so you will find a email.csv file here and you can open this particular file in, in any text editor i'm opening it with textpad so you can see that the file got exported and the file is a csv file and the columns are separated by a comma so this is how the data is got exported if you want to use pipe as field separator then you can use pipe as well you don't need to use comma the frequency of comma being present in the data is very much so that's why i also prefer using pipe as delimiter instead of using comma so i will use pipe in a bit as well so the process that you just saw that it's kind of manual process that you prepared a query first like this particular command and then you just pasted the command in the command prompt and then you press the enter so it's kind of manual work but suppose if you want to make this whole process as automated then what you can do you can just create a batch file and then you can just schedule the batch file using the SQL agent job and then maybe on daily basis and then the file will be exported automatically at a particular time 
so let me just show you doing that thing as well so i can just copy everything from here or let me just save this particular file at a particular location so let me save this file in the c files location and i can call this one as batch file batch file to export email data and i will put dot bat here okay and the text file i will select all files and i can click save and then i can just close this one as well so let me just go to the c location c files location so you can see here we we got a batch file batch file to export email data dot bat so you can open this file as well in the notepad and you can see the same query written here okay and now let me just change the delimiter from comma to the pipe now the fields will be separated by a pipe so i can just save it and i can close it and now let me open the d files location as well so this is the location so let me just delete the existing file and now let me just kick off this batch file so i can just right click and click open so the process got completed and if you go to the d files location so the file got re-exported and if you open this particular file with any text editor so you can see that the file got exported with a pipe as a field separator okay so this seems good that you can just double click on a batch file and then the file will be exported automatically now let me just delete this file again and then let me just schedule this batch file using a sql agent job so that the job can be run automatically on a given schedule and the file can be just created automatically so i can just start this sql agent job because the sql agent service is not running on my laptop at the moment you can see a red sign and now let me just create a new job here so i can click on new job and then maybe i can call it like run batch file and then i can go to the steps and can click on new step and from the step name i can give it like uh, export email data you can type anything here and now from the type there are multiple types here so the first type is the operating system so i will select this one cmd exec and then i can just click on the open and from here i i will select that the batch file that i want to kick off so, and i can click on open so the content of the batch file will be opened here you can see that so you can click ok so if you want to for example create a schedule to run it like for example for daily basis then you can create a schedule run on daily basis and from the recurring that's good on the occurs you will select daily reoccurs every one day so it will run at 12 am and the start date will be today's date so i can click ok so the sql job will run at 12 am on every day so i can click ok so the sql agent job got created successfully and if you check the data in the d files location so right now there is no file so you can also execute your sql job on the ad hoc basis as well so you can just right click on the sql job and you can click on start job at step so this will execute the job other than on the schedule basis as well so if you want to run it on a desired time so you can run it as well manually as well so this the job runs successfully and i can click on close so if you go to the d file location so you can see a file exported here and i can just see the data in the file so the data seems good here so the data got exported from a sql server table to the csv file using the bcp utility and this time the file got generated using the sql agent job so i think this is pretty simple thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much